In this video, I show you how to build a MIDI sustain pedal that will work on the MicroKorg or any other MIDI synth. I've tried to keep the build as cheap and simple as possible. For this project you'll need an Arduino Nano, a MIDI socket, a jack socket, a 220 ohm resistor, a 9 volt battery with a connector wire, and some kind of tin to put this all in. You can get this all for about 10 quid on Amazon or thereabouts. Here's a crude schematic of the design we'll be making. Start by putting some holes on either side of your container. This one's for a jack port and this one's for the MIDI port. This is how all the pieces will fit inside the case. The first thing we do is solder the ground wire of our battery socket to the sleeve of our jack. The reason we connect it here and not directly to the Arduino is so that the pedal only turns on when we've got a sustained pedal plugged in. Otherwise, the battery would run flat when we weren't using the pedal. We'll get the fiddly bit out of the way now by soldering all the wires that need to connect to the Arduino. I'll show you on the screen now where each one needs to go. You'll want to leave about a 5 inch tail on each of the wires. Next, solder the live wire from your battery socket to the V-in on your Arduino. Now, take one of the black ground wires from the Arduino and solder it to the ring of the jack socket. When we plug the sustain pedal in, it will connect the ring and the sleeve, completing the circuit between our battery and our Arduino. Next we'll take the blue wire, which we've soldered to one of the Arduino's digital pins, and we'll attach that to the tip of our jack socket. This is what we'll tell the Arduino when we've got our foot on the sustain pedal. Next, take the white wire that's connected to TX1 on the Arduino, and solder that to pin 4 on the MIDI socket. Now take the Arduino's other black ground wire and solder that to pin 2 on the MIDI socket. Finally, we'll take the red wire coming from the 5 volt port of the Arduino, and we'll attach a 220 ohm resistor to it. This will provide current for the MIDI socket. Then you're going to want to solder that to pin 5. And that's all the soldering done. Just put some hot snot on the MIDI port and we can move on to the coding. Open up your laptop and type in Arduino software into Google. Click the first link and download the one that's suitable for your computer. When that's downloaded, fire up the software, plug in your Arduino and we're ready to go. When you open up the Arduino software, you'll get a page like this. I've uploaded the code you need onto GitHub, and you can find the link to that in the description below. All you need to do is copy and paste that over, like this. Click the Upload button, and it'll ask you to save the file. Once you've done that, a little green bar should appear at the bottom of the screen like this, indicating that the program is being uploaded to the Arduino. And with that done, our pedal is finished. To use the pedal, Attach sustain into the jack socket and a MIDI lead into the MIDI in of your synth. You can now use it just like any other sustain pedal. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you've tried making one for yourself.